Are there any in the list where you were like, I have no idea what I'm going to say if they ask me that? Um, I guess more so, well, I, I was for like strengths and weaknesses. I feel like, is um, that a question? Yeah. Yeah. So we've kind of talked I'm, about strengths already, but like the weaknesses, yeah. you should definitely have something that you feel comfortable okay. with. Well, I was trying to decide because I kind of have like two weaknesses, but I really just want to focus on one. So I yeah. want to know which one makes me see more like, so um, yeah. my first one was like my weakness is that I can be hard on myself and like okay. I have, I set really high standards for myself, but I am also really self-aware. So I know like when I'm starting to feel that way to really just change my mindset and mm-hmm. I feel like having those high standards isn't only set for myself, but it's also set for like the care of my patients. So I really, you know, want to make sure I'm giving my patients the best care that I can. Um, so that was one of them. That's good. Okay. But then my other weakness, I was thinking lack of experience, but that also plays into my strength because I'm really like dedicated to learn and really you know want to gain more experience and excited to I don't know for some reason the first one like suits you more I'm not sure why okay okay yeah I would go with the first one um okay let's see what have we not talked about um oh what if they ask you like what um what does your self-care practice look like? Or like, what are your hobbies? This is a really good, like, connection opportunity. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I really love working out. I love being outdoors. Golf is my favorite thing to do. And that is the place you really got to clear your mind and just focus on one thing. So after a round of golf, I'm always feeling really good. Um also too, just, I feel like with self-care, like if I'm ever in like a negative mindset, it's really important for me to kind of shift that negativeness to find something positive. And if there's not really like a positive thing that I can find, then use whatever is going on as like learning opportunity. And that in itself, I feel like, you know, is a positive thing. So um, yeah, that's really what I do. I'm just self-aware, take care of myself, read books, work out, golf. <laughs> How'd you get into golf? Uh, my boyfriend. Oh, okay. Cute. Yeah. But uh, I actually really like golf probably more than him. I'll be like <laughs> sitting on my phone, like looking at my like swing, <laughs> like slowly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really funny. But yeah, that's like, that was kind of something like I felt like if they were to ask me strengths because Cause I could be like, Oh, I'm detail oriented and this and that, but like something that like, for me, at least just like my personality is like, I am super self-aware and I do make sure that I take care of myself. Like I had a professor tell me once it's like, you know, you're a cup and you don't want to keep emptying your cup and others until you're empty. You want to overflow your own cup until you're just like overflowing into everyone yeah. else's and yours is still full. So I feel like that's just like something like I, feel like would make me a really good nurse because I'm not going to get I mean I'm sure I'll get burnt out but I'll recognize when I'm going to get burnt out and I'll you know take the necessary steps to do what I need to do I don't know I would keep that like with this question okay yeah cool where do you see yourself in one in five years Ooh, good question definitely would love to still be um for the first year and really just gathering all the experience I can learning all that I can and hopefully in five years I want to be in a leadership role I definitely want to be a mentor for someone who's like me right now um I'd really love that yeah so um just kind of thinking about it from the manager's point of view, like they're usually the ones that make the schedule and they have more flexibility. The more people they have that are like preceptors or like charge nurse. Um, uh-huh. So you could mention um, that you would love to be a charge nurse, that you'd love to okay. become a preceptor, um, that you'd love to work with nur- nursing students. Um, and then you can say that um, you'd love to get any, certifications that might be appropriate to the unit just to kind of um 
improve yourself in any way that you can. The reason that they, it's like worth it to them to pay you to do it is because the more nurses that are like the higher percent that are certified, the easier it is for the hospital to get like magnet status. Got it. Okay. That's why they care about that. Okay. Yeah. And then anything else? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, maybe just stick with that. Okay. Charge nurse, preceptor, love to work with nursing students. Um, maybe get any certifications that would be appropriate for the unit. Um, And then you can also say that you'd love to be a part of any committees or like quality improvement projects that are going on on the unit because that's the stuff that managers really care about. Like, let's say, for example, their numbers this year were really bad on UTIs. Like maybe there's some initiative where like they're trying to reduce infections or whatever. Um, okay. Yeah. Or like most hospitals have like a sepsis committee, a stroke committee. And when you like one person from the unit will go there for like the once a month hourly meeting or whatever. And then you report back and say like, they mentioned we need to get better at doing such and such. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. I feel like I'm so like new to things like this. Cause like I, all my friends and stuff, like their families, their moms or grandmas, they've all been in nursing and they really mm-hmm. have like you know, a good handle on like what goes into nursing. And for me, I'm just like, all I know is my nursing school experience and my clinicals and that's (laughs) it. My clinical experience is not great. So if we called your last manager or your last supervisor, what would they tell us about you? Um, let's see here. They would probably tell you I am very punctual. <laughs> I love to show up on time always. <laughs> no, but that's literally no. That's what they want to hear. Punctual. Yeah, no, but yeah, I remember I would always show up, and she was like, well, "You are always here on time." I was like, "Well, yeah, <laughs> like, duh, what?" <laughs> but yeah, no. um, I think my supervisor would tell me that I'm really punctual and also you know, reliable and just a great team member to have because I really like to support my other coworkers. Um, yeah, I can't think Aww. of anything else. Right no, now. that's good because we haven't <laughs> okay. talked about that yet. Like a lot, okay. most people talk about that at some point, like enjoying mm-hmm. being a good team member, you know? That's perfect. Um, they... There's one, like, very rarely I've heard this asked, like, can you tell us about a time when you had some sort of communication that was not received? Meaning, like, someone didn't understand what you were saying or that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could talk about that thing where she said, like, patient A and she meant patient B, E, and, like, how important oh, it is yeah. to, like, have closed-loop communication. I just always just clarify, to double-check. Yeah. Really okay. highly unlikely that they'll ask that, but it is something people have been asked. Uh, Stanford asks that sometimes. 